So uh, thank you, Chief Rap was Zurike for your time today. And make we start with that incident when we happened yesterday. How you react when you hear the news about the attack on the prison and the police headquarters for Owe yesterday? First and foremost, you get one thing where you say now. You say now nah, police or I think IG where say now nah, high pop where do I? I pop don't come say no be dead do I? And uh, for IG, the talk say now nah, I pop where do I? In they wrong. IG or police they wrong because you come institute a investigative panel. You are not supposed to preempt the panel. Now that panel where you ask to find out the to find out the thing where it happened. Now, now them go say the people wait do Because the people wait they say now them do up. Don't come say they no, no be them do up. So it's very, very wrong. That's the only correction I want to do there. And so, because no be only the IGP talk that one, uh, and the reason why I mentioned them that because, uh, like, when we carry the news in the morning, like when you say nobody fear identify who those people will carry out the attack, be but the IGP later come out to say, um, they don't find out saying that this group of people drum, and even the governor of the state, Governor Hope, who's Odima, also make mention of the same things. So, what do you go tell? the governor of the state, where also joined the IGP to talk, saying that this group of people carried out the attack yesterday. Okay, and only IGP, where I hear him on, I know here that of the governor, but whatever be the case, all of them should have waited until the investigation comes out. If you know the people where do I'm, where, what do they put the investigation again? If I allow them now, since you know the people where do I, the investigation will tell us, look at the people where do I'm, oh, Look at how they do them. Look at how they know they do them. So it's pre, I mean, it's premature at this moment to pinpoint a particular group. Supposing tomorrow will not be them after the investigation. What will you say? So I think it's premature now. It's just like putting the cards before the horse. So I, I know so you say it's premature to uh, try to put a name and a face to the people we carry out the attack yesterday. But if you want to analyze the situation, wait till you will talk about them. Who be these people? And the question where people don't really ask because not be only uh, the attack for yesterday, the attack will happen for weary yesterday. Now something will be like talk the other attacks will only happen. We don't see attacks for other uh, states for the southeast, targeted attacks against uh, security personnel and even government facilities. So who be these people where they attack government facilities? Who be these people where they attack police officers? Who be these people? Anyway, now, now the investigation go find out. We are primarily, with the, with the primarily talk about uh, the, what happened yesterday. You see, like I told the assistant station, BBC, Bo, before this time, I, the talk say, there is no security issue in the southeast. That we don't even need a medical type of uh, security or ESN. But since yesterday, I have come to realize that I was wrong. That we have no security, zero security in the southeast, zero security. Because the thing we we involved more than hundred people were coming to where. Well, the, the plan now. DSS no here. Military intelligence no here. <laughs> what did they run? What type of work did they do? Something. Conspiracy. We involved more than 100 people. The whole DSS no, no, no about it. Military intelligence no, no about it. They came all the way from outside Imo State. Some Imo State. Some over the seat of power. Fact, please uh, the the prison. Fact, say CID. <laughs> God himself was said, "Do no go carry our government." They for go carry uh, opposite at the man now because if they could uh, 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 buy where the the uh, the police, the army, everybody, who 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 is then the governor? They could have taken him. We have zero zero security here. I'm expecting. 
immediately this thing happened, the IG of police could have resigned for his incompetence. The director general of SSS could have resigned for his incompetence. But that, yeah. So you blame the security personnel for what happened yesterday. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. They up to their responsibilities. Yes, of course. Who else will you blame? To start with, I mean, this thing would have been nipped in the board from the planning situation where they were sitting together to plan. If the DSS people were aware of it, they couldn't have come to aware. Okay, given that they were not aware of it due to incompetence. When they were leaving their location, entering aware, nobody saw them. Nobody gave information, even by phone, to DSS or army or police. Say, look, some people are coming. A whole barrage, a convoy of so many cars in midnight. Nobody gave information. And they came to a seat of power. But the policemen ran away like women. Ran away. What do you think? Let me ask you this question before we go on, because you make mention of something. Uh, I don't know where you get that one from because, like you said, investigation never, you know, they never finish the investigation to begin to see the full picture of what's in play out for over yesterday. But you talk, say, 100 people and they come, they know come from over, they know who come from Imo State, so they come outside Imo State to come carry out this attack. So who be these people? That's not the question where people they try to still wrap their heads around, the try to still understand. Who be these people will carry out the attack? If you talk, say, it did too early, it did very premature to conclude, say, na uh, IPO group carry out the attack, like which the IGP and the governor of the states don't talk. Who will be these people? That's the question everybody is asking. But what I'm telling you is that they them, they, themselves told us, both the prison warders and the police, that these people came with so many vehicles and that there are more than 100. Do you understand? What I'm saying is, if it is a real nation where you have security apparatus in place, from the planning stage, the DSS would have known everything. They would have been part of it. They wouldn't have even allowed them to set up the coming into a world. They wouldn't have started in the first place. But nothing like that ever works in Nigeria. Nothing like that. What they are interested in is sharing the money. The other day, you hear, the, I think, the Minister of Defense crying that they all the money given for ammunition and others. We are shared by the service chiefs. Otherwise, why are these things not in place in Nigeria? Just like uh, our president, they go London to treat himself as if Putting such hospital in Nigeria is abominable. It's an abomination to have it. He prefers going to London every time. So all of us who don't have money to go to London, we die here. So you see, that's a problem we have here. There's no security. If a group of people, up to 100, can conspire, stay on their own, and plan such a thing, and the state security is not aware of it, which country, of, which country are you having? I'm asking, what type of country is this? Let me go back to uh, the earlier, the, the, the issue where we don't, we don't cause some sort of controversy with the people, who be the people we do. Um. So the reason why some people go conclude or go try to point finger to uh, the IPOG now because of, uh, they will say some kind of statements or comments where the leader of that group don't make in the past. They go to talk, say those comments, uh, it's like ginger in people to carry up actions or steps to uh, protect themselves or to do some things where they against the state. How you go respond to that? Before I respond, let me ask you a question. The one where they killed for a boy instead, who killed them? Have they investigated? Did they give us the leaders the names of the leaders where do I'm why is this one so extraordinary because they want to protect their uh, hegemony 
No, maybe because the because the leader of that group don't make some kind of comments. Please some wait, kind of wait, let me tell that. Excuse when me, please. People say that he go ginger in, in members to take some action. Excuse, excuse me. We are living in a garrison where the federal government is interested only in uh, protecting those who are in prison, protecting police station that doesn't work for anything. These people who killed our people in the police state, have they been tried to court? Have they been investigated? Why is this? In this one, nobody died though. The only, the, the people were so benevolent that they didn't kill anybody. They came and, uh, and uh, released some people. Even Vanguard this morning wrote that uh, they gave... Wait, wait, can you allow me to talk? I don't like people talking when I'm talking. Please, allow me to talk. Who invited me to this? Okay, sir. Vanguard wrote this morning, I read, that uh, IPOP gave uh, two weeks notice to the, to the prison of the authorities that they should release their uh, members. Two weeks notice. Assuming that it was IPOP and they gave two weeks notice, will you say you didn't know about it? See, they came and released their members. That you say you have security, you have security. What type of relation is this? So all this is uh, what we are doing in Nigeria. You should treat equals, equally. You must bring justice to play if you want equity, if you want peace. Our people are killed in a police state. No inquiry. The Bonsai governor was crying like a baby on the social media, begging for justice. It was just of late that the vice president went there. But just yesterday, within 24 hours, Buhari, from his hospital bed in uh, London, has condemned it. He never condemned that of a Bonsai too. He has already given instruction that the perpetrators must be brought to book. He has never given instructions for the perpetrators of a, uh, uh, of a, a boy in murder, mass murder, should be brought to book. What type of country is this? Okay, want me to stay here and start condemning Nandikan? I will never condemn it. I will not. Because we are doing, these people are doing it as if we are not human beings. Our people are kids. Intense. About 30 or so people, kids. Nobody has done anything. Then a session, session uh, police station was uh, burnt. Prisoners released. Then the whole nation is boiling. For what? For what? These people who died are not, are they not human beings? I finished. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, Chief. So what I wanted to say uh, was that, um, so the, like you, and you subsequently mentioned it, the, the president, uh, the president is not in the country, but the vice president don't visit a bond state and the uh, investigation day, day on to find out what really happened for a bond state. And just to say clearly, yeah, that uh, what happened for a bond state, of course, no be news way per single one year, people die and the life of every Nigerian actually supposed to matter but some people go ask because of what you say you say um the group of people were attack the prison they release they only release some prisoners now Not the number of them. they release all the prisoners i said that you say you say they release some prisoners but from the figures and the statistics and waiting the authorities don't tell us now about if not more than 1,800 prisoners, now they release into the society. So people would ask, are you justifying that? Are you justifying waiting uh, the group of people where carried that attack do? How do you defend the fact that over 1,000 uh, prisoners, about uh, 1,800 prisoners, like they tell us, they are large now in the society? I'm not justified. I can never justify violence. I believe in non-violence. I cannot never justify any violence. Hello? We can hear you too. Okay, fine. But what I'm saying is, it is a bad system that brings, brings bad people. That's what I'm saying. In a situation where people are killed, the perpetrators, the government pretends as if they are not aware 
or they don't know the perpetrators. No serious investigation is going on. Then, you have another situation somewhere, a lesser situation. You begin to tackle that situation. Let me ask you a question. How many uh, Fulani men are in prison across the nation? How many of them? Okay, live across the nation. In the Southeast, they have been killing people, doing all sorts of crimes here. How many of them are detained? Which, which two prisons are they detained? The answer is none of them. Then you have a, 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 a group of people. You detain their own members for even a lesser offense. Because this is, these people are people killing, killing others in the farms, killing the last one, came to the village and massacred them. None of them is in prison. Then other people, you kept them in prison. Why are you keeping these other people in prison? Are they not human beings? Why are you not keeping the other people in prison? It's just like what happened uh, between uh, in the between the go government of uh, uh, Sheikh Shagari. This Buhari toppled the government of Sheikh Shagari. Then what did he do? He put Alex Ekwemi, the vice president, in detention and released the uh, Sheikh Shagari as the president. You see that injustice continues. Up to today, we are equals are not treated equal. You think uh, if uh, if uh, now someone commits or uh, pull any commits offense, it's not offense. If any man commits it, he'll be killed, he'll be investigated, he'll be brought to book. The, 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 the whole nation will be trembling. Or what? I got up and run. Are we going to run away for you people? I'm not going to condemn anybody. Let okay, them so condemn. Condemn on the how the plan has men and condemn Boko Haram. I've been okay. condemning over time. You can see. I've been condemning in Nandikan. I've been condemning OP, uh, IP, I've been condemning ESM. But when you sit down, you think about all these things. You begin to ask yourself certain questions. Are, are we slaves here? Why must the, why, my, why must uh, over the prison be our property? A uh, priority in in, in, uh, in Southeast, the uh, prison was broken. But the people were killed in the police state. It wasn't the priority of uh, of federal government to find out, to stop it. Then it is the backup of a uh, 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 prison that should be a priority. Nonsense. Okay, I, uh, Chief, I, I just wanted to say that uh, the uh, spokesperson for the president don't talk before see hundreds of bandits. There's hundreds of bandits day in detention. So it will be like say they know the arrest um, others on the other divide where they carry out these acts of violence. But uh, we understand where you they come from, you know, this issue or don't they ground and one of the uh, and one of the agitation of your group and also the um, the IPOP group for for the for a level uh, playing ground that what is good for one person should also be good for the other so the other question where i will ask now we say we start we are talking about Oweri, but we will not be the only place where we we'll see all these pockets of violence you know you talked about a state and some other uh, states in the southeast how you go respond or what you get to talk about this violence where they happen uh, across the southeast because some people don't also say in a deliberate na na deliberate attempt to destabilize the region there's something I want to point out to I don't know whether you are aware that there's some Boko Haram people who were captured some time ago were retrained by the federal government and they redeployed <coughs> into the military and the police. I know you are you must be aware of. So all these things make the commission of crimes a non issue. If people who are killing soldiers, policemen, burning houses, committing atrocities in the north are captured, then you you absorb them in the army, you train them, pay them compensation. Do us, what are you encouraging? You are encouraging more banditry. You are encouraging more terrorism. And when they begin to happen, you don't have to treat one group 
with glove hands and try to kill other ones. You, you treat them equally. So when you ask what is happening in the South is, it's not abnormal. It's not, not ab abnormal when you can uh, release Boko Haram people that were captured and get the money. And later they went back to their uh, colleagues so after giving the money to buy more guns. Then they're telling me what is happening in the South East. That's a replica, perhaps, that is happening. So you won't treat those in the South East the same, uh, a different way. You have to treat them the way you treated their own brothers in the, in the North. That's my position. Okay, so before we move on now, which thing you don't talk about uh, how the matter they pay you, uh, how you feel, say, uh, the security uh, agency and government will live up to their responsibility. What do you would like to see them do? We go make people take them seriously. Say, okay, finally, they don't wake up and then they do what they're supposed to do to end all these attacks and violence for the Southeast. The thing why I go there, okay, you're not going like them now. You're not going like them. The only solution is to divide Nigeria. That's the only Nigeria is not working. We are not pretending. You know, as you did the announcement, Nigeria is not working. We are not pretending. In a situation in a country where you have the five services are from one tribe, Fulani, and they're not doing anything. They're just there for nothing. This IG now, where's the top? He said, you don't finish you. The president returned him back to do another three months. As if he's the only person in Nigeria that this uh, police work. But look at that. Is, is he competent? The answer is capital. No, he's, incom he's incompetent. Grossly incompetent. But he's returned because they pull an animal. As if there's no other person in Nigeria that can do that job. So you see that the, 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 the society we are trying to protect doesn't want protection. The person is for all of us to go our different ways. But through nonviolence anyway, I will never support violence. Okay, and that bring, brings me to the next question, Chief. So you and uh, Namdi Kamu now start this struggle together, um, this movement, and I start this movement together before Namdi Kamu going away to start up IPOP. Um, some people don't criticize the way he did go about um, and because you talk about you never support violence. So how you go, how you go talk about the way uh, the IPOP leader, they go about this uh, talk about uh, setting things right in the Southeast? Uh, point of correction. I didn't start the struggle with Nam De Kano. I started the struggle in 1999. Namde Kano joined in 2009, joined. 10 years after. So we didn't start it uh, together. And uh, in the struggle, no struggle has uh, mono, is monodimensional. The struggles have branches. We have uh, many branches. If Namde Kano wants to take to violence, I will not speak for him. But I will continue to say that I don't believe in violence because I'm a student of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. I don't believe in violence. But I will not stand on his way, whatever I want to do. But where I, 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 I feel pissed off is when you begin to treat our people, the Igbos, differently from how you treat others. Then, for instance, we are talking of Boko Haram. People who are killing, we know the number of Nigerian soldiers Boko Haram have uh, 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 killed. The few people they gathered, they captured. You said uh, you give them amnesty. You retrain them. You put them in the army. Put them in the police. Give them money. What are you encouraging? What are you encouraging? Then, if there is ESN in the southeast, Within 24 hours, you put up a statement from London where you are on sick bed, how they will be exterminated, how they will be killed, how they will be done it, how, as in what now, as what? I don't know human being. But you are own people. You are not treating them that way. To the extent that um, 
uh, Katuri Aras, Fulani uh, uh, Hedas, said that the president is their um, grand patron. The president didn't come out and say, no, I'm not your grand patron. No. He didn't denounce it. Up to today. There is nowhere in the southeast or in a place where you say in a court, you see uh, grand, uh, Katuri Aras or whatever being tried or a place where that depends. But that you are telling other people. I mean, it's not. It doesn't work that way now. Nobody will support that one. Okay, okay, sir. So the next question I'm going to ask is uh, still talking about what happened in Uwe yesterday. Because as we talk, if we uh, go by waiting, the authorities don't tell us over 1,000 prisoners stay at large now. This society, uh, they don't know where they live. Never hear any updates about their maybe their efforts to to bring them back in. So, but waiting with all uh, concerns from some residents about waiting this one will mean, you know, in terms of security, you know, some people don't talk about their fears and their worries, not only for Imo State, but some other states for that region where some of these people uh, feel go take refuge. How do you react to that so how that issue make you feel is a general issue general problem in nigeria today people are talking of restructuring through restructuring you can have a police uh system where our policing system where the the uh, test can handle their uh, security system the same establishment those who believe that the, the owners of Nigeria will not buy into it because they, they think whatever they like is what is going to happen. Nobody is going to listen to structuring. Nobody is going to listen to self-determination. Let everybody go is where they want one Nigeria. Okay, make this one Nigeria work. work. Let us see. If Nigeria is working, none of us will talk about Biafra or this and that. We are talking about all these things because the system is not working and is to the glare of everybody. Everybody is seeing it. If it is working, uh, for Christ's sake, why should you have under one? But somebody will come and know that this thing is not working. But instead of making it work, he will be siphoning all the money. Money will be budgeted for security. There will be no guns. The police will not be paid. Army will not be paid. Even if they are paid, they are, something that even a uh, 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 house girl cannot use to buy something. Then these people will share the money and bank it outside and use the money outside. How can that society work? So, is there for there will be the people who will ask this question you are asking me now. Ask them, how do you want it? Since you don't want Nigeria to, to, to break up, then how are you going to package security? Now, people can get up from one location in their home place, storm a hotel capital, ransack the army, the police, sack everybody and do whatever they like and go back. Not a single one of them was caught. I mean, look at it now. Okay, Chief. So, uh, how do you uh, respond to this argument? So, people don't say um, the Southeast governors they know really they talk too much or they 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 some are quiet about waiting they happen for the region how you go respond to that waiting you go need to see them they do to make you feel say okay well, they do on top of the situation well, and uh, they they go find solution to make peace come to the southeast or to make sure say everything go as it's supposed to be go i pity the southeast governor they are in a difficult situation. Just yesterday, when this thing happened, I was discussing with a friend. I said, look, these people were at the, at the government prisons uh, for almost three hours shooting, ransacking everywhere. That even the army that is le less than 10 minutes drive couldn't come to help them. My friend reminded me that they required a presidential fiat to come out according to the constitution that the president has to give the order. I remember this too. So, in a situation like that, we blame the governor. The governor who is in his house, 
the policemen that are supposed to protect him ran away. The army uh, uh, was somewhere, they were not to come out. What, what, how do you want the governor, what do you want the governor to do? Same to other governors in the southeast. You see what is happening? I'm telling you of a situation where one tribe has the five service chiefs that don't know anything about security. And look at the, situ the security situation in Nigeria. They continue returning them, changing them with their, the, the, the same tribe. So, are you going to blame the Southeast uh, governors? What are they going to do? They use what? Okay, look at just a recent, because of what happened, the IG brought more policemen to Imo State because something has happened. He brought more state, uh, policemen to Imo State. There are the people commanding, there are the people holding everywhere. There are the people from only one tribe, Flani, dictating what happens in Nigeria. I think more questions should be asked them, and not any other person. We are just a conquered territory. But our position is, if we cannot live in this, our territory that we have been conquered, Allah wants to go now. He don't want us to go through uh, non-violence. He don't want us to go through violence. Then come and kill us now. Okay, Chief. So um, this should be like the final question, except something else come up. Election will happen for a number of states towards the end of the year. With seeing all these things where they happen for the status, with all the violence, all the state attacks and all that, how all these ones go affect that election and what it mean? What thing concern me concern a number of elections? <laughs> Nothing concern me. Am I contesting any election? You should ask uh, politicians. We are talking of life and property. Lives and property. That's what we are talking. Before election, is a living person that will vote or be voted for. When we achieve security, we talk about election. If there is no security, okay, assuming that, okay, look at Soludo. The other day he was campaigning. People went there and shot at his security men. Three of them died on the spot. Has, has it been resolved? It has not been resolved. No, nobody has come out to, to to give a clear picture of the whole thing. So the society is... Uh, all these people about are only the, about the, I Yes, the, that is what... I asked the question about the election, Chief, because of waiting, uh, because of waiting history don't show us. During election time, we see some kind of violence, you know, the increase during election time. And if we don't start to record this kind of things for the Southeast this time when election period never reach, what thing will happen that time? And I they ask this because of the position of the people, not even because of the election or the politicians, but the impact on the people. You see, my sister, let me tell you something. I'm a freedom fighter. I think about the welfare of my people. I'm not a politician. I don't answer things I don't have interest in. You see, I want security first because that is what pertains to my people. I don't know about some poor people who are contesting the election. If they are contesting the election, that, that's what Nigerians want. Election, election, that's what politicians want. They don't want to know what, have a permanent solution to something. As it is security, you have a permanent solution for it. But when, once it is the election period, make shift arrangements, clamp down while you're uh, voting and all that. They bring and pick to people, they will say, ah, they have been elected, uh, that the new governor, that this and that and that, when it is not the situation. So I don't speak over nonsense. So over things I know that don't even happen in the first place. So I will not talk about an umbra election. Because okay, I know so that. Since you, are, you are so interested in security. Um, how, what do you think about uh, waiting the ESN group they do? That's the Eastern Security Network. Right from the word go, I was critical to the operations of Eastern Security Network. I mm -hmm. said that it was not the place of a one man or a person, an individual, to nominate for us those who will guide us. My, my opinion still persists. I still insist that it is not a place of one person to assemble some people to come and provide security for us. 
But what I'm thinking now is I think with what has happened, the Southeast governors, we come together now and ask them this question. With what happened that a group of people came from nowhere, came to the seat of power, did all they did and left without a word of them being caught. I think it gives questions that answers for people to sit up. As I'm talking to you, I'm also sitting up, asking myself questions. How can this be possible? So I think in a, in a, in a few days to come, we shall uh, have answers to all these questions. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Chief Ralph Wazuriki, the leader of the movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. So thank you for your time. Thank you, Steve. You follow us to talk about all these issues, especially what happened for Oweri, the state capital of Imo yesterday. You didn't, you, you, didn't, you didn't mention the Ijelendi. I am the Ijelendi. And the Ejibo <laughs> Buru the second. Uh, sorry, Chief. I know one. Um, Spoiled. <laughs> I know <laughs> of, it's a social circle. <laughs> so thank no you problem. very much. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Eh? Thank you. Thank you for your time to talk to us today. Thank you very much. <laughs>